Hey there, it's Dylan from First Class VoiceOver. I thought I'd let you watch me record an audition for an audiobook. Because why not? I got nothing else to do. So, let's do that. Alrighty. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Chapter 4. Self-Storage Tax Strategies. If you take $1 and double it daily tax-free for 20 days, it will be worth $1,048,576. Take that same $1 and double it daily for 20 days, but tax it every day at 30%, and it will be worth only... Okay. <clears throat> I lost my spot. And it will be worth... And it will be worth only forty thousand dollars. Six. Oh. And it will be only worth forty thousand six hundred forty dollars. A loss of a million dollars. Why? Because with tax-free compounding, earnings accumulate not only on the principal, but also on the tax-free earnings. Earnings on earnings. Thus, compounding combines earning power on principal and earning power on interest. Compounding has been called the eighth wonder of the world. A miracle. Compounding money at high rates of tax-free return is a definite advantage of real estate, especially with a... T this is called pun punch roll, by the way. Especially with a... Especially with a great... Especially with a great tax plan. Especially with a great tax plan. Okay. The result was powerful. Okay. Ed had been paying taxes averaging about $120,000 annually for about a decade. After implementing the strategies recommended by his new tax strategist, CPA, his taxes have been approximately zero in the decade since. And yes, this was all legal and above board. I'm going to review some of these tax strategies in this chapter. If you're not aware of the tax strategies uniquely available to real estate investors, this could be a happy day for you. I'm going to stop it there. All right. That's good enough. Okay. So let's pick up here and see what it sounds like. Scooch this over a little bit. Shorten that pause. Boom, boom. Bring it on over. That's good enough. All right, so so this is uh, nonfiction, so I'm not going to do character voices or any of that garbage. I'm going to keep it pretty straightforward. That was the last CPA client lunch these two would ever enjoy together. As you can guess, Ed fired his CPA and found a new one. This one took the time to carefully analyze Ed's situation. A real estate investor himself, he had dozens of other clients in the real estate business and turned over every potential stone to minimize Ed's taxes. The result was powerful. Ed had been paying taxes averaging about 100... The result was powerful. Ed had been paying tang taxes... Let's take it there. The result was powerful. The result was powerful. Ed had been paying taxes average, averaging, averaging, averaging. The result was powerful. Chapter 4. Self-Storage Tax Strategies. If you take $1 and double it daily tax-free for 20 days, it will be worth $1,048,576. Take that same $1 and double it daily for 20 days, but tax it every day at 30%. And it will be only worth $40,640, a loss of a million dollars. Why? Because with tax-free compounding, earnings accumulate not only on the principal, but also on the tax-free earnings. Earnings on earnings. 
thus compounding combines earning power on principle and earning power on interest. Compounding has been called the eighth wonder of the world, a miracle. Compounding money at high rates of tax-free return is a definite advantage of real estate, especially with a great tax plan. Tax Strategies Ed, a friend and fellow commercial real estate investor, told me the story of why he hired a tax strategist. As a real estate investor and real estate broker, Ed made a lot of profit over a lot of years, and he had a whopping tax bill to prove it. He once read an article about a surprising tax savings tip and met his CPA for lunch to share it. The CPA agreed it was a great idea and said they should implement it right away, maybe even refile for a few years to capture some of the benefits. Somewhat irritated, Ed went on to share another tax savings strategy he heard from a fellow investor. His CPA agreed that it was also a great idea and something they should implement. After what I imagine was a long pause, Ed said, Hold on. You're saying you knew about these tax savings strategies all along and didn't tell me? That's when the pleasant lunch got tense. His CPA replied, Ed, you're paying me to file your tax returns, not to be your tax strategist. That was the last CPA client lunch these two would ever enjoy together. As you can guess, Ed fired his CPA and found a new one. This one took the time to carefully analyze Ed's situation. A real estate investor himself, he had dozens of other clients in the real estate business and turned over every potential stone to minimize Ed's taxes. The result was powerful. Ed had been paying taxes averaging about $120,000 annually for about a decade. After implementing the strategies recommended by his new tax strategist, CPA, his taxes have been approximately zero in the decade since. And yes, this was all legal and above board. I'm going to review some of these tax strategies in this chapter. If you're not aware of the tax strategies uniquely available to real estate investors, this could be a happy day for you. If you have any questions about my process, um, Studio One, as you can see that I use, or um, audiobooks or commercials or whatever, yeah, reach me, firstclassvo.com.